course, you're getting into you know a, a, a game week with an actual game plan. But we always hear, and we hear from other press conferences, always focusing on the fundamentals and stuff. Mm -hmm. Is that just him kind of reinforcing that? You know, even after camp's over. Yeah, absolutely. I, uh, the fundamentals will never stop in this game. I think uh, as a professional, you understand that as the league goes on, um, you know, guys kind of get sloppy, and I think that's where you got to – I'm sorry, not the league, but as, as the season goes on, um, you know, things can get a little sloppy. And you you got to rely on your fundamentals and your technique, um, you know, and that's going to be the difference um, between, you know, teams going, um, you know, a certain distance or not. What you do with your, I guess, three days, two and a half days, whatever it was? Okay. Just, just, just treating, man. Just treating. Just staying in this building. I was in this building, man. It's, uh, you know, my family's here. Um, you know, I don't need to go nowhere. I've, you know, I'm year seven, so I just did all the flying back and going home for a few days and enjoying myself. Uh, kind of getting older now, so you know, mindset is a little different, but. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's always good to get away, of course, for sure. And, you know, guys want to go see family and, you know, catch some college games. That's awesome. But I was just chilling here. Um, yeah, it was it was guys in and out, you know, getting work and, uh, you know, trying to, you know, get their bodies prepared for a long season. It's a long season. So um, we just got to stay ready and on top of that. Do you feel ready for it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, you know, it's, you know, at this point, if you don't feel ready, kind of the door is that way. So, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's too late to turn back now. I mean, these are your last consecutive days off for two and a half months. I mean, how, how, how do you kind of mentally prepare for that? You know, it's a day that a lot of people yeah. get a three-day weekend. It's a long, uh, man, it's a, it's a long season, um, and you have to be mentally tough to endure it. Um, you know, maybe we can make up for those consecutive days on a victory Monday. Who knows? We'll see. You know what I mean? So we'll see, man. We just got to focus uh, one game at a time and, uh, you know, and, and just focus on, a, the, the, on what's in front of us and not worry about any off days. Right, right. You know, well, well, uh, you know, cross division games. I played, you know, played some of these guys, and you know, familiar with some of these guys, and um, some joint practices that I even had with them, um, especially with Carolina. Um, we joint practice with them last year when I was in New England, so I'm familiar with some of these guys, and um, you know, but it is a new division for me. It's, it's a new. Uh, it's a, it's a new look um, of, of faces that I'll be seeing, um, you know, on, on, on most Sundays. So um, I just got to do my job as a, as, a, as a pro, as a vet, to, you know, study my opponent and know my opponent and, uh, you know, let it, uh, let it uh, transition to Sunday. What have your impressions of Ryan Nielsen been? Uh, Ryan, man, he's a, he's a great guy. He's an energy guy. Yeah. Um, so, you know, whenever, you know, he, he feels like the room is down, he, he's the one that's picking us up. Um, and, you know, he, he demands greatness out of us. So, uh, you know, we, we try to be perfect for him. And uh, we know nobody's perfect. But, um, you know, as long as we approach the game that way, then, uh, you know, it, it, it's been helping us grow a lot as a defense. How was it getting back out there? It felt good, man. Uh, just, you know, trying to take it slow, um, you know, day by day. But, uh, you know, I felt pretty good for the most part. Do you feel ready for the game? Um, uh, I, for the most part, I feel ready. But, um, you know, we're we just going to be smart about things. And, um, you know, just like I said, take it day by day. So. It happened down in Miami because we kind of lost the track of a couple of days. Yeah, it happened, it happened down in Miami. Um, so I've been, you know, dealing with that since then. But, uh, you know, we're, things are rolling pretty well right now. Is it a hamstring or a uh, hip flexor? Hip flexor. Yeah. When you try to return for something like this, is it purely physical? Is there stuff that's like game reps of learning the more – scheme being out there that you're trying to catch up on um well i've been in all the meetings right. so um you know trying to catch up on that part of the game is uh, you know you always got to be tapped in uh even when you're not out there on the field um just being tapped in and uh still being coachable when you're not out there doing taking all the mental reps um that's very important because when you get out there you don't want to feel like a step behind uh which you already will be because you haven't been out there so um, just being on top of that in the classroom, uh, you know, helps me get that even playing field when I'm out there uh, healthy physically. So. How do you prepare for a new quarterback? Obviously, there's no NFL tape yet on Bryce Young. Um, well, we, we kind of just go off a of scheme. We know he's a hell of a player. He won, you know, the Heisman uh, in college. So we know he's a hell of a player. He can, you know, make all the throws. He can, he can hurt you with his legs as well. So, um, yeah, that, it's mostly scheme-wise that you go off of, um, you know, head coach and offensively where those guys, uh, where, their, where their coaching tree has, has been. So kind of go off of scheme. Is this something you also adapt as the game goes on, as you learn? Oh, for sure, okay. for sure. I'm pretty sure some things that, uh, 
that we, we haven't seen, that we'll see, and then we'll have to adjust on the fly. And, uh, you know, that's with any quarterback. But um, specifically for him, uh, like you said, we, we don't have a lot of tape on him, but um, you know, we know he's a hell of a player, so we'll, we'll be ready to play. Mike, I know it's a little different for you, kind of from rehab and stuff, but what did you do with your, what, three days, two and a half days off? <laughs> well, I, I was here the whole time just rehabbing, uh, just, you know, trying to be smart, uh, taking things slow. So. How, how, how do you mentally prepare for a season where you're not going to get – Victory Monday's in there, but you're not going to have back-to-back days off until, like, middle of November. I mean, we, we all know it's a long 17 weeks, so, uh, you know, we just got to be smart about how we take care of our bodies. Um, you know, that that's, that goes into, uh, you know, how much sleep you get, um, your recovery, and, um, you know, all those little things. So, just being on top of that. How, yeah. how nice was that to get, like, after camp to get a little downtime before the season? It was cool. You, you know, the body the body needed that, but, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's great being back here and uh, getting week one started, so that's the big thing. It, it's a grind. I mean, you got 10 weeks until the fire, whatever mm-hmm. it is. I mean, how do you, as a, as a veteran, kind of physically and mentally prepare for that, that long stretch? Uh, I think it's just sticking with your routine, like a day-to-day routine, week-to-week routine, and just uh, keep stacking. You know, like, don't don't get lost in the, in the days. Just kind of keep uh, keep stagging and keep keep learning, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Well, what stands out from the early look at, uh, at Carolina diving right into a division opponent? Uh, it's a it's it's a it's a good team, you know. Based so far, you know, watching the preseason games and seeing seeing things they're doing, that they're doing certain things good. So, uh, you know, it's I, I, I feel the big thing would just kind of go out there and uh, basically execute. Yeah. yeah. What have you seen, uh, or are your takeaways on Bryce Young so far? Mm. From like obviously college tape and preseason game. I guess we wouldn't talk much about it. We kind of just wait till game day. Yeah, <laughs> you good. Okay. Then uh, when you think about the offense as a whole, what makes Carolina different? Uh, they've, they've got a they've got a good uh, a couple good guys up front, and uh, you know they they, they, they kind of execute execute what uh, what they ask off to do, and uh, they kind of execute their scheme. I think really good. So that's that's basically what I see up front. Yeah.